I wasn't the last person that he's put his hands on. I don't want to do this. I told him I can't do this no more. And as soon as I said that, he took both of his hands, put it around my neck. He literally shoved me up against the wall, like choking me again so hard I could not breathe. Woo! Hey guys, it's your girl Damage Flawless. I miss you guys. I know I get messages all the time that you guys miss me. I miss you too. The feelings are mutual. And some of you guys are OG day one supporters and have watched me grow from high school through college to now to this day where I'm sitting here. And a lot of things have happened, a lot of things have changed, and you guys have watched me evolve. And I love you guys, and miss you guys, and I hope you guys know that. So, protecting my peace is my number one priority. So initially, when everyone has been asking me to come out with my side of the story of what he's done to me, I never felt obligated to for the fact that I've already explained my story four years ago when it did happen. It's happened to more women that he's, he's done it to, and they've came out with their sides of the story. And... It's sad, it brings sadness to me that there's more victims and he has not changed from four years ago. I wasn't the last person that he's put his hands on. As some of you guys may or may not know, I was a victim of abuse when I was in a relationship with King Sid four years ago. I came out with my story on how he choked me and put his hands on me and was aggressive with me multiple times. Some people believed my story, some people didn't. He came out with his story covering his tracks and making up other things that would basically make me look like I'm just talking to defend myself and making making it up. Today, many other girls have came out and spoke on their sides of the story and their dealings and personal experiences they've had with him and a lot of them are similar to what I have gone through. I've healed from this trauma and I've healed from the trauma, the emotional, mental, physical, spiritual, all of the trauma from it. For the most part, I have healed a lot and um, made peace with the situation, you know. Um, I've forgiven, but I haven't forgotten. And it just hurts me to know that other women had to deal with the same thing I had to deal with from him. And he did not stop or learn and change for the better. I'm so happy that I was able to come out on the other end and be here today. Like, I'm so grateful and thank God that I'm here today, literally. Like, I just, it's, it's a miracle. It's just, the only way out of it, the only way I'm here today is, is God. That's all I can say. In a domestic violence relationship, there's always a perpetrator and a victim. If the perpetrator lacks a guilty conscience and doesn't, think they've done wrong and in denial, they won't know to, speak help, to seek help for it. Therefore, there's going to be other victims that they do it to. So it took four years for this to have happened to many other, to multiple other women that he's done it to, for it to come to light. Four years from when I said my story, now there's other girls that come out and say their stories and it's now bring, being brought to the audience, to you guys, from what's what has been happening behind closed doors of what he's been doing. Those close to him have witnessed his abuse to others and it's been exposed to the public recently. Not only physically abuse to women, but also emotional abuse and mental abuse to your friends and family. So with that being said, I strongly encourage you, King said, to seek help so this cycle does not keep repeating itself. Because if you don't seek help, you're only not going to heal, but you're going to keep causing pain to others. And it brings it breaks my heart to know that there's more victims that have endured and had to go through the same thing that I had to go through. And my heart goes out to them and I wish I wish a healthy recovery for them. Seriously. This should be a learning lesson to everyone to not be dismissive of someone's report of abuse and to listen to the victim's side of the story always. As a victim, it takes a lot to speak up, mainly because a lot of people don't want to hear your truth. But I'm telling you right now, and I'm standing here right now, healed, healthy, happy, and I've been through it. So if you, if anyone out there is, is going through it or has gone through it, I just want to tell you, you can get out. If a man loves you, he will not put his hands on you. A man that loves you does not, I literally have this one, so oh my gosh. A man that loves you does not put his hands on you, okay? Point blank, period. You deserve better than that, okay? Ladies, stand up. Stand up. Stand up! 
and it can really make a difference whether a victim is believed or not, especially on their mental well-being and emotionally well-being. It takes a lot to even get through the pain of what the abuse you've gone through. So even having this, have this, to have the strength to stand up and speak about it is 10 times harder. 10 times harder. <laughs> Although sometimes people do falsely accuse others of abuse, Make sure you guys investigate a situation and listen to a victim. Listen to both sides so you guys know. Because most times, they're not just speaking up and making detailed stories for no reason. Always investigate a situation before you guys form an opinion. Trust me guys, we're all human and there's a lot of things that some people can take and others can't. And a man that puts his hands on you is most likely a narcissist. They're calm, cool, collective and they feel no remorse. They know what they do, but they don't feel no remorse. And they, that is why they have to try to feel something, to heal and to change. Because if they don't, that is what drives the victims to feel, they go through so much physically, emotionally, and to feel crazy. They almost look crazy, they look unstable because the narcissist is just cool, calm, collective, and as if nothing ever has ever happened. So being a victim of it and hearing other girls' stories, I know like it's so hard to deal with. It's just it's so it's a hard thing to deal with. Never dismiss it. As being on the victim side, the survivor side, it is so hard to deal with. I'm telling you, when someone is doing something to you and they just have no care or remorse, they might say sorry, they might throw you they might throw you um, an apology with flowers. They didn't might give you flowers because that's what had happened to me after the situation the day after he brought me flowers like nothing ever happened <laughs> you know like you get sucked back into something that does not even make it doesn't make sense because they make you feel like it's okay and it's not okay they think it's okay and they may they try to make you seem like it's okay and you're just you're you're crazy but let me tell you ladies even men too both sides no one should be putting their hands on you. No one should be disrespecting your personal space like that. If someone respects you and loves you, they will not, will not try to harm you in any shape or form, especially physically. And being a female and a woman, we don't have as much strength as the men, as the man. We don't. And I also want to say anyone that has been a victim of domestic violence, that telling your story can save and help so many people. Never feel like I can't tell my story or it's just, you. your story might save someone. Save someone out of a relationship, save someone out of, save someone's life. So sharing is caring and telling your story is so brave and I commend anyone that has been able to do it as I have. And I also watched Nate and Jill's video where basically Nate was saying that he believed King Sid, Jason, because that was his friend and he defended him, but until he witnessed it himself, then he realized Kingsa was wrong all along and lied about putting his hands on me. So that's just an example of like being biased because, you know, maybe it's someone that you're close to or someone you may look up to, like his audience looked up to him as a YouTuber, so they can't believe that he would ever do something so terrible and put his hands on a woman. And so he repeats himself and keeps doing it over and over. And to my ex, Kingsa, Jason, I really wish you well. And I hope that you take what I said and my advice of getting help and taking time to change and taking accountability and actions. I hope you take the advice and do something with it, seriously, because so many people look up to you. You're a public figure. If you just take the accountability and take the time to apologize to all the victims that you emotionally, physically, mentally abused, it can literally inspire so many people. Everyone can maybe try to see that, you know, you can change, you can do wrong. People do wrong and right your wrongs though. You know, you can do wrong, but right your wrongs and try to change, try. So anyways, ladies, remember if a man puts his hand on you, he does not love you. You may be able to forgive them, but do not forget. I've forgiven, I've made my peace and, and kept my distance. I have my boundaries with Jason. But just remember that they do not love you. A man does not love you if he puts his hands on you. He does not care for you. He does not respect you if he can if he can repetitively embarrass you publicly, 
privately, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, he does not love you. Abuse is abuse, whether it's emotional, mental, physical abuse too is hard. And I know there's probably a lot of young girls that watch me too. Never, never settle for less because when I tell you that there is men out here that care for you and will never do that to you and that really truly loves you, trust me you can do better and you deserve better. deserve better. We all deserve better as a female and a woman, we all deserve better. Girls, take time, take your time, heal, self-love, self-worth. When you have your self-worth and you know who you are, you will not let anyone try to take that away from you. You will stand up for yourself, you will speak for yourself, you will keep your, you will keep your boundaries and you'll make sure that they respect your boundaries and you move on and life is, there's always another side. There's, it always gets better. Trust me guys, it always gets better. Life always gets better. And just know that you don't have to stay with someone that does not respect you. You don't, you really don't. In a relationship, if they can't respect you and they, if they put their hands on you and aggressive with you, what, like, there's no reason for you to be there. There's no reason for you to be there. And it's just, it's a toxic situation. You don't want to be a part of that. And trust me, when you finally like love yourself more than you love any other man, the man is going to love you the way you love yourself. If you don't love yourself and he keeps repeating, repeating these things to you, it's only going to tear you down. But when you love yourself and you stand for something, you will not fall for anything. And the man is going to take care of you and love you because a real man does not put his hands on a woman. Little boys do that. M men don't do that. I'm telling you, and there's men out here. I have a platform at the end of the day for me to be able to come as a victim to speak on it and educate others on, you know, how things, uh, on a learning lesson that sometimes victims are not always believed in that. It's okay for you to speak up. It, you should speak up as a victim, you know, and we're all just learning at the end of the day, but, but at the end of the day, just remember guys, there's always a bright side to the end of the tunnel. There's always light at the end of the tunnel and you're worth everything, ladies. And I'm talking to my girls, but remember that you are the prize, okay, period. We are the prize, like, let's remember that. <laughs> let's remember that, okay? Just like what Harvey says, you are the prize, we are the prize. We are. Just re you have to remember that, okay? Period. Never settle for less. Never let men tell you what you're not. Never let them talk down to you. No. Mm -mm -mm. No. We don't tolerate that here, period. I never. I will never wish you back, but I cannot, and have, I cannot have you in my space, and I, I have to have some self-respect. Just think that. Just remember that, guys. Like, if you don't respect yourself... People will be able to walk all over you. Sometimes, you know, I'm, I've always kind of been like a nice, friendly person. So sometimes I, I get caught up in certain things. But you, I still, and I, I'm still learning to this day to respect myself. Make sure that I don't have people taking advantage of me. And, you know, taking things from me that they don't deserve. You know, taking things that they don't deserve. And sometimes they might see your value and they might see it, but they, it's not... Like, they'll take care of it and respect your value. Like, they'll kind of take advantage that they know of how much, how valuable you are as a woman and as a person. They might just be like, oh, she's so valuable. She is the prize. They might, they might say that. They, they, they talk a lot. Trust, when they, they'll talk a lot and they'll talk, they'll talk about the world. They'll try to say they'll give you the world and all this stuff, whatever. But at the end of the day, if they don't treat you and their actions don't align with what their words say, never take that. Never take that because someone will show you. They won't just tell you, but they'll show you. A person that loves you will show you they love you. They won't just have to say, I love you, I love you, I love you. It's actions. At the end of the day, it's actions. So I feel like I came across all my points that I wanted to come across with this video, but um, with that being said, I miss and love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all the support that you guys have given me, literally. like It's crazy how much support that you guys have given me. And it does not go unnoticed. Trust me, the messages do not go unnoticed. I see them and I, I love you guys. Um, I will be coming back to YouTube, but I'm on my own pace. I'm going to say that because uh, <laughs> I'm on my own pace. If there's some things that you do want to specifically want to see from me, and just make sure you guys let me know. And yeah, I love you guys. See you guys later. Bye.